What's going on YouTube? Phil here, once again, back for another tutorial. This one is pretty easy and straightforward, but I still wanna make sure that you guys know what to do and have no issues doing it. So I'm gonna talk how you can uh, place the replay file in the correct folder on iRacing so you can load it on your own computer. When you get a coaching session for us, you have access to a drive folder with lots of file in there. One of them is gonna be the replay file. So, okay, let's stop the video right now. If you want to get coaching on iRacing, please visit our website at asrxableesports.com. We have the top Canadians ready to help you out to get better and win some races. So do it. All right, so we're going to actually add to your drive folder. There's a link that you're going to have uh, via Discord or email. You click on that link and you uh, enter this, uh, this folder right here. That will be named um, by your name, obviously. Um, so. We're gonna go ahead and click on the RPI file, which stands for replay. You can right click and click on download. I don't, can't see it because of my steering. There we go, downloads right here. So you download that file, then you can close the website. You don't need it anymore. You're gonna open your file explorer. You're gonna go into downloads and in downloads, you should see the file right over here. So you're gonna click on it, right click, you can copy, Control C also works. But then we need to put this file on the correct iRacing folder. So we're headed to Documents, iRacing, and you will have the replay folder right over here. Double click on this one. Um, I actually made some uh, folders in there. Usually it's all empty. So if you wanna organize it a little bit more, you can create folders as I said, or otherwise you can just uh, put them all together. So for this one, I'm gonna put it in the general folder. So control V or control, um, right click, sorry, and paste right here. So you can see the file is in here. So this is all set. Now we're heading into iRacing to uh, load the replay pretty much. So there's two options. You can do it in the UI and also in the website. I'm gonna show you both. So I'll open the UI. Now we are in the UI. We're gonna head to the replay bar right here. And for some reason, my UI is completely bugged. So iRacing, if you see this, please. I don't know what happened, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we're in the replay section now. As you can see, you have all the replays that are in the folder. So you can see um, if I sent you that replay, my name's gonna be on this one. Um, so look at the replay you want to load and then you just click on launch and it's gonna launch the same and you're gonna have access to, to that replay. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the um, iRacing website. Now I am on the iRacing website, so what I wanna do is I will go to results and stats and you can see the option here, my replay. So I'll click on this and we'll go into another page. The difference here, online replays and testing replays are separately on this page. So if you were in an online race, you need to click on this if the replay was on testing. Honestly, if you um, you had a coaching session with us, it's probably gonna be in testing. So you click testing and you should see all of the replays. As you can see, I have replays from other people right here. So you just have to click on the little uh, green triangle here and it's gonna load automatically the replay. So this is it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the section below. If you have any ideas uh, you wanna hear about, just let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you into the next video. See you guys.